Hey everybody, how's it going? I am Satham and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution. So, we are going to carry on with trying to evolve our that park. This is what we strive to maintain here on the island. We do that by making sure their needs are met. In a way, it's kind of like taking care of the dinos, just with more demands and less understanding. <laughs> am I right? And as I was saying, since the last episode, I have set up some more stuff. Things are looking good around here, huh? I love what you're doing with the place. I like what I'm seeing. Let's keep it up. Satisfaction is what we aim to give our guests. Make them appreciate the little things. And the big things with the teeth and glassy eyes that could swallow them all. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. So, since last time I have been doing some changes around the area. The journey is really just a series of small sometimes random chaotic if you will steps and you've just taken one step seriously okay we have unlocked a new island brilliant brilliant all right so that's a sandbox island that's quite tempting to me i'm not sure how it works but yeah that island was a land of wonder and life Impossible, primal, instinctual, predatory, prehistoric, life, and death. This would be Isla Nublar's legacy. Not Hammond's dream of a Jurassic Park, but something altogether more fitting. Finally. Anyways, as I was saying, since the last episode, again, I have been playing off camera a tad bit, and I have made some changes, so now the carnivore enclosure is split into several sections that means we can have multiple carnivores hopefully it all works out all right uh, i do want to have as many carnivores as possible i do like carnivores uh in this episode we're going to try and further increase our rating we are now at four and something stars so join me as I try and make this park even better than before and hopefully reach, I'd say, five stars if at all possible. If you folks enjoyed this episode, please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and haven't already. And whilst you are here, why not check out some of my other videos here on the channel? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. Also, if you have just subscribed to the channel, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new content. And for those interested in hanging out with me, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to these will be down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment. Wow. Okay. <laughs> a lot of money. Nice. Way to go. We've got a park running at maximum happiness and our guest numbers are up as a result. That's what makes the entertainment division the envy of the rest. We get the results, am I right? When the parks are running well, our scientific research improves. Of course, I'd never tell this to Isaac directly. Heard it. Mm, I, I was going to add... No. No. No, 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 no. Too late. Heard it. Later, <laughs> Doc. <laughs> oh. Oops, I incubated the wrong dinosaur. Oh well, never mind. Yeah, so I split the enclosure into three. Hopefully the dinos will be happy. And so that means we will have more people coming in to check out our creatures and dinosaurs and all that. Which of course means profit. Profit is good. We like our money. Money is a good. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> Enough of me being silly. I think I'm actually going to try that thing that I said before in the previous episode with a herbivore and a carnivore and see how that works out. Uh, probably a bit expensive. Uh, a bit of an expensive thing. But, you know, why the hell not? I'm doing alright for money. As you can see down below in the lower right corner i have a lot of money obviously i do not want to squander it away you know we still will need a lot of money for further research and development 
And I think I might want to add some more electrical facilities. Operations. What have we got here? Nothing that I can access. Nothing new, at least. So let's add some more electricity to the place. I can only imagine how much electricity something like this would actually use something. And maybe like so. I mean, it would be in line with the other facility. Uh, let's see. That should suffice. We want to connect it to what we currently have in terms of electricity. So I'll place a pile on here and another one here. And that's that. Done. Oh. This contract can really help our bottom line. Now we need to connect it to the main road. Um. Okay, well, that'll do. It ain't pretty, but it works. And that's what's important. Okay, what's that banging noise? What the heck is that? <laughs> okay, copper light. <laughs> yeah, we can sell that. So for those who don't know, copper light is pretty much fossilized feces. If I'm not mistaken, so if people want to buy fossilized dinosaur feces, oh, dinosaur threat, what? That's bad. That is bad news. Right, what's going on? Oh, hello. Adding task. Why is that guy out? Repair crew reporting in. Um. <laughs> okay, so we have an escaped dinosaur. Why has he just now decided to break free? This is problematic. Something's not right. Okay, so we're going to have to trank that dino and put him back into his enclosure. Resupply request acknowledged. Okay, I guess the dino is now down, so we need to move him out of the way. Okay, so that's being resupplied. Where's my Ceratosaurus? I can't see him. Ah, there he is. Okay. So we now need to move him back into his cage. And I guess this is the first dinosaur that's broken free. <laughs> Go on. Get back in there. You are certainly not meant to be free and out there eating the visitors. After all, that is what pays for the park and your food, good dinosaur. You need to be back. I don't, I don't understand why you broke free now. I've never had this issue before. I guess it's a randomly generated occurrence or something of the sort. Who knows? Hopefully it doesn't happen too often. I can only imagine if you have a huge park full of dinosaurs with them breaking out constantly. You're probably going to spend a lot of time just putting them back in the cages. And I guess that would most likely affect your rating as well, because people are getting killed and stuff. So I'll put another path going in, something like that. I mean, I'm not sure how I want to sort out the hotels, to be fairly honest. And we also have this end right here, which I need to do something with. Yeah, I could build another enclosure here. So maybe kind of like that. Yeah, see, look, this is a lot of space here. There isn't any water, though. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of space. So I might start spending some more money in 
terms of creating a new sort of enclosure. I don't really have a design in my head at the moment. And to be fairly honest, I don't think I'm going to go for another carnivore sort of enclosure. So we can do that, something like so. We also do need a path, don't we? So I can start from here. Um, I wasn't happy with where that fence was going down. Oh, this is electrical, so I'll probably... Um, I'm just trying to figure out how to put the path. Oh, if I cut this in half. So that's something I could do. Then have just herbivores here. Alright, slight change in plan. So I'm thinking of cutting the herbivore enclosure into half. And then expanding the second half. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this. I haven't quite actually decided how I want to do this. Uh, kind of like that. The idea is I want to make the herbivore enclosure somewhat smaller. And then obviously have the other half or one of the halves of the enclosure or the one with the most space basically become a another enclosure at least that's the plan i'm just not sure how i am going to do this oh something bad's happening okay we have a dino that's just broken you again why do you keep breaking out? What is the matter with you? Confirmed. Okay, whilst the helicopter is getting that guy knocked out, the rangers can sort the fence out. I don't understand why he keeps breaking out. That occurrence seems to be too frequent. Luckily, there aren't a lot of people in that direction, so he's not doing that much damage. Well, I retract my words because now looking at my rating, it has gone down from five and something to three and a half almost. So that is actually affecting my overall rating. The problem is I don't know why that dinosaur keeps breaking out. And every time I trank it and put it back in, that costs money. Which kind of sucks. Well, I can hear another banging. What, is another one trying to break out or something? Alright, let's put this guy back in here. Asset requiring collection. So maybe if I start from... Again? What? <laughs> What's going on? I don't see an... Okay, that's the enclosure with two ceratosauruses. That's not good. Okay, let's get this guy knocked out. No problem. Where's the other ceratosaurus? Oh, I hope he doesn't come out. Oh, he's coming out. Gosh darn it. Okay, he's free. <laughs> oh dear, he's gonna kill people. Oh, my rating has gone down so bad. Oh wow. Get that guy. And we have a dead dinosaur. Okay, right, well, let's remove that dead dinosaur. Oh, my rating's been hurt so bad. <laughs> asset asset oh, hold on a bit. I need to repair the fence, don't I? Getting carried away here. Quickly go and repair the fence, please. Okay, 
Okay, we need to remove that dead dinosaur. What, can I only do one task at a time? Oh, this sucks. Okay, fence has been repaired. And we need to remove a dead dinosaur, can I? Yes, I can. Okay, I can do multiple tasks with these big, heavy lifting helicopters. So that is good. Now, I should move in the second Ceratosaurus. Once that is finished, I can then carry on with the splitting of the herbivore cage, enclosure, not cage, sorry, enclosure into half and then extend the other half into and turn it into another separate enclosure. At least that is the plan. Transporting asset. Okay, so the dead dinosaur is being picked up. Let's move the second ceratosaur back into its cage. En route to collect the asset. Okay, back at four and something stars. That's good, 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 good. Time to split the herbivore enclosure into two separate enclosures. So, start from here. Kind of want it to go that way. Do not tell me that another carnivore is trying to break out. What is wrong with them? Oh, you stupid, stupid dino. You're in the way. Move, please. That's it. Good dino. Good boy. Are you joking me? <laughs> oh, that so sucks. Uh, which way do I want to go? We do want some water for the second enclosure. Remember, the show must go on. This contract makes that possible. Okay, which one broke out? Oh. This opportunity <laughs> is too good to pass up. I know, it sounds like I always say that, but I always mean it. Delivery has been completed. Okay, so we need to knock out another Ceratosaurus because he's broken down again. Gosh darn it. Acknowledged. Alright, let's see what's going on here. So, I have managed to split the herbivore enclosure into two separate enclosures now. I'm not happy with the space though. I kind of want to do that again. I did it rushed. And I know that was a waste of money as well. Um, seriously? Okay, we have another dinosaur out. I think this time around I'm happy with the way I've divided that enclosure into half, but we have a problem. It's these guys. Again. Why do you keep breaking free? Can I upgrade the fence or something? Keep you in there. You think that an electrical fence would keep you busy? Oh, feeder needs... Oh, this is so much stuff to do. It's all going nuts now. Repair request acknowledged. Okay, so let's repair the fence. We need to restock the feeders. And I have no idea why my dinos keep breaking out so often. Feeder resupply request that wasn't an issue until now. Okay, one of them is in there. So if the guys, the, the rangers, can fix the thing before he gets out... Which looks like they're not going to do because he's going to get out. Look, he's out. Darn it. Go back in there. Um, helicopter, you need to trank another dino because he's got out. Where is he? Right there. That's the one. Get him. Task. Now they're fixing the fence. 
Sheesh. This is actually a pain. There's so much stuff that I need to do. So I've got uh, the electrical fence, which is not electrical, in the herbivore enclosure. That needs to be electrified. We have feeders. We have all sorts of issues now. There's just more stuff or more problems that I need to deal with and I can actually deal with. All right, they're fixing the fence. I think. The fence still has that red marker thing on it. I don't understand why. Okay. We need to replenish the feeders. Okay. En route to top up feeders. And repair the darn fence, will you? What? Why can't you repair it? That's enough, people. Don't panic. They're asleep. I don't know for how long they'll be tranked, but I wouldn't go close to them just in case they wake up. Uh, why are you not fixing my fence? En route to pick up the asset. Um, is it because the dino has been tranked next to the broken fence? Could that be a thing? That might very well be a thing, so I guess I will see now what goes down once the cargo helicopter picks up the dino and places him back in his enclosure. Come on, pick him up. Good helicopter. What? Another one's breaking out again. I think there's another one breaking out. Which one is it? Okay. Assets in the air. Oh, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> oh. Oh, why do you keep breaking out dinos? Jesus Christ. Right. Okay, we need to try and get that other one out. Jesus Christ, these ceratosauruses are annoying. <laughs> They're only causing trouble. I'm gonna end up having to sell them. They're too much of a uh, bloody pain in the backside. All I seem to be doing is uh, knocking out ceratosauruses and fixing fences. Asset delivery confirmed. Oh, this is just nuts. Oh, there's another one. He's gonna come out as well, isn't he? Right, we have another Ceratosaurus loose. Okay, well, once you finish with that, go and knock that guy out. <laughs> There you go. Well done. So I currently have three Ceratosauruses knocked out. Four. Oh, this is just not going my way today. So there's two, three, four, all, all on the path. Um, these Ceratosauruses are turning out to be more trouble than they're actually worth. Okay, clearly something's not right here, so I'm obviously going to end up the episode here. I'm going to try and figure out what the heck is wrong with these dinosaurs. And so I'll see you guys in the next episode. That is it from me for now, folks. I do hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and haven't already. And why not check out some of my other videos here on the channel? Who knows you might just enjoy them. Also, if you have just subscribed, remember to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new content. 
And for those interested in hanging out with me, you can always find me on the Setopia Discord. Links to this can be found down below in the video's description, as well as in a pinned comment. Until next time, stay safe, folks.